Hi, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to talk about why music's moving on-chain and how BeatDap's participating in the overall streaming economy. First, let's talk about streaming and why it's important. For decades, physical distribution is what mattered. You would deliver CDs, albums, tapes, etc., and you track exactly how many of those went out and how much was owed for royalties back to the labels and the artists. It was easy to track. A certain amount of CDs fit onto um, a pallet, a certain amount of pallets fit inside of a truck, a certain amount of trucks went out to the different stores, and you would send bin pickers to go and make sure that the CDs or the albums that you intended to be delivered were actually in those bins and you could check through seeing how fast they were selling. It became pretty easy to physically verify how much was actually sold at retail uh, locations. Fast forward to digital. People started downloading. Really in the 2000s, it became easier to download a track than it was to go and buy it, and it was cheaper. So that led to tons of piracy, which then meant that there was very few royalties going out, and you saw the severe slump in the industry. Then came streaming, and that really revolutionized and revitalized the music industry, because it was now cheaper to stream a, con a piece of content or a song than it was to digitally steal it or download it. And that's where everything changed. For the first time, you weren't just getting a royalty on the point of sale or the purchase, but it was an evergreen royalty. The more people listened, the more royalties were being paid. But there's no physical way to track that. The way it works today is that an artist might deliver their music to the label. The label will then often give it to a distributor whose job it is to format all the data and put it into all the streaming services, or they might do that directly themselves. Those streaming services then report the numbers of the times it's been played back to the distributor of the label. Unfortunately, it's pretty common for the number of times a song was played not to match what they're actually paid out on. And in this case, it leaves the artist wondering, where's the 40 million streams that I was supposed to, um, that I supposedly played that, that I was supposed to get paid on? Because the way it works today, like I mentioned, is that streaming services self-report their numbers. And then the labels invoice based on that number. But what's been found in a number of audits is that those play count reports are often 15% incorrect. And that's leading to a multi-billion dollar problem for the music industry. And with 600 streaming services globally, play count auditing has become time consuming, expensive, and near impossible to complete. And streaming services have a problem too. Play count errors have led to dozens of lawsuits from rights holders from around the world. Entertainment One, the largest independent music label in the world, came to us and asked for help solving this problem. They represent iconic acts such as Snoop Dogg, Death Row Records, The Lumineers, etc. They believe blockchain was the solution because in an industry where nobody trusts each other, it allows everyone to participate trustlessly while still maintaining their data privacy. So we spent 15 months in stealth mode building the underlying protocol capable of processing a million streams per second per region, which is the equivalent of what's needed to turn on every streaming service worldwide simultaneously. The way our system works is that as a user plays a song, it sends that request into our blockchain network. Our network is comprised of music labels, streaming services, and ourselves. Our nodes validate that request and say, we recognize that user, it's met all the play count conditions required to satisfy a play, and then all of them cryptographically sign that receipt and acknowledge that this play was real from that user and it should count towards the overall play count ledger. In this way, you not only have tracking, but an audited record with real-time reconciliation. Our team is over 20 years of management experience with 15 years specifically in the music industry. At some point in our careers, every major label has been one of our clients. We then went and built a Rockstar Advisor Board, which includes the former Prime Minister of Canada, Stephen Harper, the former CEO of Sony Music Nashville, and the former CEO and founder of Priority Records, who sold in excess of $1.7 billion in recorded music. There's so many different use cases where blockchain can be applied and useful, especially in an industry where people don't trust each other and accounting is a core function for paying royalties and or licensing. If I leave you with anything, I'd like to leave you with this. Music streaming royalties alone will reach 30 billion by 2030, but there's currently a 15% reporting error and that's led to a $4 billion problem that BeatDap exists to solve. But how many other problems can be solved using blockchain for the music and digital content streaming era.